What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I have for you guys a pretty crazy story that happened to me the other day. So let me go ahead and set the scene for you guys. So I'm with eight of my other friends, so there's a total of nine of us, and we had just got done eating Denny's. So Denny's is a restaurant, they serve breakfast foods, so we had eggs, we had pancakes, we had bacon, we had sausage, toast, all of that good stuff at 12.30 in the morning. So it's past midnight, it's pretty late, so we had just gotten done at Denny's and we really wanted to go in a jacuzzi. Why, I have no idea, but we just wanted to go in a jacuzzi. So after we were done eating Denny's, we ended up finding a jacuzzi. Now keep in mind, we don't have a jacuzzi, you know, to use. So we had to find one. So we found one at a Best Western Hotel. Best Western is a hotel franchise. So there was one literally right across from the Denny's that we had just eaten at. So we ended up going to the Best Western Hotel and by the time we got there it was probably about 1 a.m., 1.15 in the morning. So it was pretty late and of course the hotel was closed. Uh, that means we weren't able to actually get into the pool. However, we were able to jump over the fence and get into the jacuzzi. So one of my friends ended up hopping the fence, opening up the gate so all of us could get into the pool area. So we ended up getting in and we went over to the jacuzzi. Now before we even got in the jacuzzi, I told all of my friends, look, we shouldn't stay here very long. It's 1.15 in the morning. We're not even really allowed to be here. So they're like, all right, Brandon, okay, we won't stay very long because I'm kind of freaking out right now. So it's 1.15 in the morning. We're in the jacuzzi for about five minutes and all of a sudden we see this person walk past one of the windows. Now, as soon as I see this person walk past one of the windows, I say, guys, we need to leave and we need to leave right now. So we ended up grabbing all of our stuff and running back to the car because we didn't know who this person is. So as soon as we got back to our cars, the person came around the corner that had saw us in the jacuzzi and that person was actually a security guard. Now, we didn't know his name, so I'm just going to go ahead and call him Ron. And by the way, Ron, you're a fucking dick. Now, the reason why Ron was such a dick to us is because the first thing he said to us as soon as he saw us was, hey assholes. That's the first thing he said to us, he said, hey assholes. And as soon as he said that, we knew that this wasn't going to be a nice encounter. We knew that we weren't going to be able to negotiate with him at all because the first thing he says is, hey assholes. So Ron's just being a fucking dick to us already. So he ends up pulling out his phone and taking pictures of our license plates. Now, he didn't know which cars were ours, so we ended up walking past our cars that we had drove in because we wanted to make it seem that it wasn't actually our cars. So we made it seem like he was taking pictures of random license plates. So we walk past the cars, he realizes that, oh, these aren't the cars that these kids drove in. So he turns around, walks back to the hotel, and as soon as he does that, we turn around from where we were walking, run back to our cars, he ends up turning around, pulling out his phone again, tries to take pictures of our license plates, but it's dark, he doesn't have the flash on his phone on, what a fucking noob. So he ends up calling the police, and as we're jumping in our car, he's still on the phone, we end up booking it out of there, we drive fast, we get out of there, and as I said earlier, there was nine of us. And once we got in the car, we realized that there was only eight of us. So one of my friends was missing. We had no idea where he was. And we ended up driving down the street a little bit. And we saw him standing on the corner, just completely oblivious from what was happening. And it was really, really funny. We found him. He jumped in the car and we got out of there. And it was a pretty close call. We almost got busted for going in a jacuzzi at 1.15 in the morning that we weren't supposed to go in. Now, it's all right for the security guard to have done that. He was just doing his job job but he was a fucking dick about it he was a fucking asshole but regardless we were able to get out of there safely and we didn't cause any damage it would be understandable if the guy was super pissed at us if we had done something wrong or caused some sort of damage to the hotel or the jacuzzi but we didn't and it was just a crazy experience and I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like these types of videos where I share stories with you guys, let me know down in the comment section below because I'd love to do more videos like this. Again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll be sure to catch you guys later. Peace.